Tennessee hired Robert Neyland with the explicit orders in 1925 of evening the series with Vanderbilt. In the more than 80 games since then, Vandy had only beaten the Vols nine times coming into Saturday's game in Knoxville. Thanks to a solid defensive showing, timely plays from the offense, and a bit of post-game refereeing that went Tennessee's way, the Commodores returned to Nashville still stuck on nine, as UT won an overtime on an Eric Gordon interception return, 27-21. Tyler Bray returned to action for the first time since the Georgia game on October 8th, and the Vols' offense showed signs of life early with a torn pool touchdown plunge that put the Vols up 7-0. Bray would later connect with Derrick Rogers on a pair of touchdown strikes, first to put the Vols up 14-7, and then a fourth down play that tied the game at 21. Finally, in overtime, the Vols won the toss and forced the Commodores to go on offense first, where Gordon intercepted a pass and took it 90 yards for the game-winning score. The play was initially ruled down, but a review overturned the call, keeping the Vols' bowl hopes alive at 5-6, giving UT its first SEC win of the season and dropping Vanderbilt for the 28th time in 29 meetings. Poole had a solid performance with 17 carries for 107 yards and a touchdown, while Rodgers grabbed 10 passes for 116 yards and two touchdowns. UT closes out the regular season at Kentucky next Saturday, where the Vols will try to become bowl eligible for the 28th time in 32 seasons.